Do you have a long PDF file and don't know how to embed it on a page or post on your WordPress website? I am currently working on a project for a client, and that was the case for this project. Specifically, I have to embed a long PDF file with the constitution, and people visiting the site should be able to read it and download it on their computers. Well, it may sound simple, but it is not always like that. So, today in this video I am going to show you the best way to do it without the need for a plugin, only with the Gutenberg editor. Alternatively, if you build your website with the Elementor page builder, then you need the help of an add-on plugin. I will leave the timetable, so you may come back later and skip some parts. So, without further ado, let's start our tutorial. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. Okay, here is the project I am currently working on for a client. So, I will scroll down to the footer of the site to show you something and help you understand better. Here in the footer menu, you see two links related to the constitution. So there are two pages I have created, both of which have a PDF file of the constitution embedded on the page. I am going to open both in another tab. The first page is created by using the Elementor page builder, and if you scroll down, you will see the PDF file. Let's now go to the second page, which I created only by using the Gutenberg editor. It is a page with similar content and an embedded PDF file. Let's now scroll to the top menu. I am going to the news section, which has news posts. I have created two posts, embedding the same PDF file. The one on the left was created by using Elementor and the right one with the Gutenberg editor. First, let's open the one on the left. It is a single post which has the structure of the simple post template created in the theme builder of Elementor. If you don't understand what I mean about the design of theme builder templates, then you should watch my video here at the info card at the top right corner of the video. I will also leave the link in the description below. The second post was created by using only the Gutenberg editor. It looks similar, but you may have noticed the PDF player is slightly different. The rest of the page is the same though. Now I am going to show you how to create a page and a post embedding a PDF file. First, I am going to do it by using only the Gutenberg editor, which makes it very simple to do. So I am in the pages folder in the dashboard and I click add new. I am giving the name Constitution Guten to the page. I am also going to add some informative text about the PDF which will follow. So click the plus sign to add the text blocks. Now, type the slash sign and select the file block. I have already uploaded the file to the media library, so I can get it from there. Okay, as you can see, the file is embedded on the page. Let's click on publish and let's view the page. The file is embedded in a very functional frame, so I am able to activate or deactivate the bar with the page previews, scroll down, and download the file. I can also zoom in or out or rotate the page, and all these functions apply only to the way I see the page as a visitor. Other visitors are not affected by my actions now. I can also download the file from this icon here or get a printout. Let's reload the page. Now, from the three dots, I am able to change the view to two pages and scroll on the right. I prefer the single page view, so I switched it back. Okay, we have just seen how I created a page with the PDF file. Let's now go to the dashboard and make a post with the same PDF file in it. Click Add New. I am giving the name New Constitution Guten. I am going to add two text blocks and a spacer.
Okay, now I need the file block and I select the file from the media library. Now I am going to select the news category for my post and also select a featured image. Okay, now click on publish and view the post. As I explained earlier, the post structure follows the template I have created in the theme builder of Elementor. However, we created the post's content with the Gutenberg editor and it looks fine. Also the PDF player functionality is there as expected. Now it is time to create a page and a post using the Elementor page builder. So go back to the dashboard. For Elementor, I need to install an add-on plugin. So let's go to the plugins folder. I have already installed the plugin PDF Viewer for Elementor, as you can see here, but I will show you how to install it. Click Add New. Search for PDF Viewer for Elementor. It's the one in the top left corner, so click to install it and activate it. Let's return to the dashboard in the Pages folder. Click Add New. I am giving the name Constitution Elm and I am clicking to publish it. Now click the button Edit with Elementor. Click the plus sign to add a section. Grab the heading element for the page title. I am going to add two more sections to put the informative texts. OK, now search for the PDF element. It's here on the left, and it's called PDF Viewer. It is by default linked to a sample PDF, but I am going to get the link to the constitution file I have in my media library. Copy the URL to the clipboard. Now paste it in the PDF URL field. Click Update. OK, sometimes you need to reload the page in order to see the PDF in the designer. So let's reload. As you see, the page looks fine now. With this element, I am also able to adjust the dimensions of the PDF player. So let's make the height equal to 900 pixels. Let's click Publish and let's view the page. It looks fine, and if I click on the arrow at the top right corner of the PDF player, it opens the PDF file with Google Docs. So from here I am able to download it, get a printout, or even see it in double page view, as we did previously. Okay, we are done with the page, so let's now create a post embedding the same PDF. So back to the dashboard. Go to the Posts folder. Click Add New. I am giving the name New Post Elm. Click Publish. My posts category will be News, and I'm also going to choose a Featured Image. Click Update. Now click to Edit with Elementor. I am going to add the text editor element to the page so it automatically adds a section. I am pasting the informative text inside. Now click the plus icon to add another section. Search for the PDF viewer element and draw it on the page. Get the URL of the Constitution PDF from the media library. Now, update the PDF URL with the correct URL. Adjust the PDF player height to 900 pixels. 
Maybe 800 will be better this time. We lost the PDF from the screen, but it is still there. Click Update, and let's see the post. As you can see, it is fine. Again, as previously with the page, if I click on the arrow at the top right corner of the PDF player, it opens the PDF file with Google Docs. So, in this video, we saw two methods to embed a PDF file onto a page or a post on your WordPress website. Although I like the Elementor page builder a lot, I think that the method with the Gutenberg editor loads the PDF faster and is more stable. I noticed sometimes the Elementor element gets stuck and you need to reload the page to show the PDF player. So in my case, I intend to use the method with the Gutenberg editor only for the page showing the PDF file and build all other pages with the Elementor page builder. In regards to posts, the method with Gutenberg works fine even if you are using the single post template created by Elementor, so there is no issue there. That concludes our tutorial for today, and I hope you found this video useful. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.